Hi YouTube. In the last video I told you I'd tell you more about the Sears SS16 and so here it is and this one's specifically for you too Rooney. I know you'll like this and this here is the Sears SS16 you saw it back in February-ish and I ended up not I ran out of time and got bored of it and didn't get running so I traded my brother. And of course he cleans the points and fires right off for him. But anyway, it's all original and you can see the nose cone isn't broken, which is surprising. It runs pretty good. It needs a little bit of carb clean and now the fuel pump's starting to act up on it, which sucks. But got a 42 inch motor deck on it from my brother's Suburban 12. Cut good, then we got um, some ag tires on there. But those aren't original to it. It got set cast sears weights and under it hidden under the cast sears weights. You can eh, sort of see that other weight. That's a cast 50 pound bones weight. So we got roughly 80 ish pounds of weight per side. And changed out the seat since last time since the sears one was cracked and holding water. This one's nice. You can gets a little bit of rain or anything. You just tip it up and you don't have to worry about having a wet ass. And nothing special back here. Maybe we'll get a 3.1 day. Have a I do have a new old stock Sears 3 point in the house, but it's going to have to go on a very nice tractor or never get used and just keep it nice right now. I don't know. And as you can see I think this is a 73-ish model. But maybe one of you will know better. The worst, the only sad thing is the hood had some um, little surface rust areas, and my brother cleaned it up with um, Scotch Brite to make it real nice. Well, not nice, but got rid of the rust, and now just spots of bare metal that are coated with WD 40 to help hold off the rust. Okay, give me a second, I'll show you, and then okay, here you go. We got the hood open, and Again, yeah, nothing really special, just looking at all the stuff in here. It's the Pepsi bottle is my brother's um, gas bottle for when he has to reprime this to get it to run again. It's because, like I said, the fuel pump's acting up and we need to take it apart and get it to work again. And it's on and off. Someday, sometimes it'll fire right up. Like, today I just fired it up and drove it out from where it was and fired up fine. Other times you'll crank, 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 crank and not suck any fuel up. So, we'll start it up here and it's going to be sort of hard to do one handed and like actually show it to you good too so here we go set throttle and since it was just running it should fire right up. There you go. Believe it or not, even though that was a slightly warm start, it will fire up that fast whenever it's cold too. The only bad part is, in the valves and you adjusted, you might have been able to hear it has a little slight valve tick from what sounds like the front cylinder to me. So, other than that, I think this will blow our tractor. But also not seen on this is a, um, we got a homemade front generator that, well my brother does, it actually looks pretty cool. And, one nice thing about this tractor, and also sucky, is the clutch is very touchy and that engine has enough power. If you put in third gear, even if you feather the pedal out, there's a good chance you're popping the front tires off the ground. Especially if you don't have a motor deck on. Without a motor deck, it's easy to pop them off 2-3 inches without trying. If you try, my brother had it like 6-8 inches off the ground one day. Yeah, maybe I'll give you um, a short video of mowing with this in a few minutes. That's all for now.